Dozens of students test positive for COVID-19 with many more exposed and that leads to a pop-up testing site at Gretna High School. Thanks for joining us. I'm Alexandra Stone. I'm David Earl. The Sarpy Cass Health Department says it traced more than 40 cases to a non-school sponsored homecoming dance that happened 12 days ago. KETV Newswatch 7's Waverly Monroe's live with the response from the health director and the superintendent. Waverly. Well, David and Alexandra, the state set up a pop up testing site here in the Gretna High School parking lot. Now, this DHHS says it tested 342 people in six hours. And though they say that the testing was not mandatory, the health department says it's important. The Sarpy Cass Health Department sets up a pop up testing site for COVID-19 at Gretna High School. Director Sarah Schramm calls it the first of its kind in the state. Really, over the course of about 24, 36 hours, we were able to, to, to mobilize um, this testing opportunity for students and staff at the high school. Health officials are tracking the spread following exposure at a non-sponsored homecoming dance in early October. It's made it difficult for the teachers because now you kind of have three groups you're dealing with. You're dealing with the in-school people, the two-week e-learners, and then, of course, the semester yeah, e-learners. That's Superintendent Dr. Rich Barron. He says there wouldn't be an outbreak this big had people followed health protocols. You wish people would understand that uh, these, these places can become super spreaders when you have a gathering like this. Shram says her department started noticing cases among young people soon after the dance. I would say over the last week or so, uh, with the number of cases within young people that we were seeing from the Gretna area, there was this common theme. That Shram understands many are feeling COVID fatigue, but she encourages residents to stay vigilant. I think it's really important for, you know, all community members, all residents to really remember that, you know, we're still in this. This is a marathon, not a sprint. Barron says they've worked hard to keep school as normal as possible for students while still keeping them safe. We're not going to stop the virus, but we can keep the spread to a minimum. Well, again, the testing was done through the state and the results should be back within 48 hours and those results will be emailed to parents. Reporting live in Gretna, I'm Waverly Monroe for KETV Newswatch 7. All right, Waverly, thank you. Due to the increase in COVID-19 cases, tonight's football game between Gretna and Lincoln Southeast is canceled. Both athletic departments say it's in the best interest of all students and their families. The statement goes on to say, quote, we don't want to jeopardize any opportunities for postseason play.